Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Hopefully I'll be able to show you a great tip today that's gonna to help you be more productive. Today we're gonna to talk about a new feature inside of AutoCAD 2009. And I absolutely love this feature, it's called Quick Properties. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen at the status bar, you'll see that we have a new option down here of QP for Quick Properties. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And as I move my cursor around on the screen, I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, this doesn't really affect whether Quick Properties is on or not. The fact that as we move our cursor over objects, you'll see that automatically AutoCAD is going to want to tell you about that object. That's going to really come in handy to let you know about the names of blocks and is something a line or a polyline and so on and so forth. So that's new. Um, but in addition to that, Quick Properties lets you take it one step further and actually modify these objects very, very quickly with just one step. I'm going to just kind of zoom in over here and I'm going to select this object here. It looks like a polyline to me. And you'll see that as soon as I do that, as long as Quick Properties is on, that I get some basic information about that object. But even better, I have the ability to modify it. So I'm going to move my cursor up here, for example, and right, off, right on the spot, it's very easy for me to change the color. Let's change it to red or something like that. Break our standards and annoy our CAD manager, right? <laughs> So very, very simple, very straightforward. This is much easier than selecting an object, right click, going into the properties command, making a modification. It's right there at your fingertips. Now, in addition to this, you have complete control over what shows up in Quick Properties. Like right now, I don't have a lot of information showing up. All you have to do is move your cursor to the upper right hand corner and select customize. And this takes you into the CUI command. And this next dialog box looks a little complicated, but I want you to ignore everything on the left, and I want you just to focus on the right, because that's all we need to worry about. This is how you're going to set up quick properties to work for you. So if you take a look over here, you'll see the polyline command, and you'll see that I have color, layer, line type, line weight, and thickness selected. But maybe what's important to you is the area of a closed polyline, for example, or the length you have complete control over the information that is given to you in Quick Properties. And while I'm here, if I wanted to, I can make modifications to what shows up when I select on a circle. And maybe it's important to me to uh, get the line weight, you know, whatever the scenario is. Once again, you have complete control over what shows up. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Now you'll notice that the next time I go into Quick Properties, let me just move my cursor over here and select my polyline again, you'll see that now I have additional information, right? I have the area and the length. It's just that simple. So definitely, if you haven't upgraded yet to 2009, when you do, don't forget this cool feature. And if you're already in it, I want you to remember the wonderful Quick Properties option sitting there at the status bar. So that's my quick tip for Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of the week. It's nice and sunny here in California, and I hope that it's sunny wherever you are. So take care, and thank you for joining us.